Hey YouTube, I'm gonna show you a little about the Hex Workshop. Uh, it's quite a lot of things that I'll show, so I'll go through it a little fast. Uh, look it up several times, go back and hang, hang with me. Uh, I will open up my Hex Workshop, which I've got from their official site. It's an open software, open whatever freeware. Uh, Hex Workshop, Google, right on top, and we got it. I need to open up my save uh, and to find out exactly what uh, what save it is, uh, you need to either remember uh, in what order did you create that character, uh, or you can try out different things. Uh, this is a Roland. This is not the one I want right now. This is the Lilith, and here we go. Uh, this is the one I want to ch uh, change right now. And a few things uh, starting off, uh, let's go to level character, class Lilith. Second, uh, this is often going to be a punction or a single letter. Uh, right now, it says 46 in hexa. Uh, we need a calculator. 46 decimals. Okay, so I've modded this a little before. Uh, the usual level is level 60, which is the uh, highest from leveling. But from modding, you can get level 70. So let's say that I don't want level 70 because when you're level 70, everything becomes easy damage is increased compared to the low level monsters and so forth just like doing an easy quest or hard quest let's say I want level 50 to make it more balanced 32 I simply change this hexa value don't change the uh, text but the hexa uh, we got that covered now I want something different I'll check up on my weapon proficiency. This is my screenshot. Uh, weapon proficiency level 12. Uh, let's go to the rocket launcher level 3. Um, Hex workshop. Here it says rocket launcher proficiency. Second function again. Function. Uh, here it says 3. My level is 3. Now I want the highest level. It's going to be 32 meaning level 50 and uh, when it comes to weapon proficiency that is the highest level uh, even if you write let's say FF which is in decimals 255 you will still only get 50 uh, because of some change and you can see of course all these other proficiency which you uh, quite uh, easily understand second function change it. Uh, now here's a cool thing which the Hexa is able to do which the Willow is not able to do. Here I got my face walk and uh, here's a few different skills and here's my explosive return meaning the action skill. Second function uh, I got level 6 already here we are, level 6. And they all seem to be. Yeah, I, I have already changed them all. So let's make it different. Uh, I can have level 5, that's a lower level, but level 6 is the highest, and just for the purpose of showing, I will uh, make it level 5, uh, which is the second function determining the level. The Willow is not able to do it, but the Hexa is. Uh, here we have all the different skills, Elemental, Radiance, says level 3. It's gonna be probably this one. And if I want to do this now, I can change this to level 5, uh, which is the highest. Even if we change it to 7, it's not gonna have an effect, it's gonna be 5. 
uh, Willow has a function to change these points, remaining points, to 106, which is all of these points together. Uh, you could use that for Willow, it's e somewhat easier, but it still works with Hexa, just for showing. Now I want to change my inventory size. Uh, I've already checked it's 24 right now. Uh, with the uh, Hexa, that's gonna mean 18. I want to search for 18 find 18 find all instances okay here we got one around the character this is not the one you're looking for uh, I found one around the com deck Lilith uh, right below is going to be items grade and some different weapons now this one uh, I want to change the absolute limit here is FF FF meaning 65,535 it's quite a lot and it's not really needed so just for making the game a little more realistic or whatever you feel like you could have simple FF that's 255 more than enough that's gonna last from level 1 until level 25 30 or maybe even more depending on many, how many you are uh, around here is going to be uh, some weapons uh, for instance it could be a weapon patrol SMG with body 1 uh, it's possible to change this to let's say body 3 or body 2 but uh, this is more useful and easier to use uh, in the willow save change so for uh, modding weapons you should rather use that but it's possible in hex as well a uh, little down here uh, you'll find many different weapons quite a lot of bullshit and some uh, missions if you're really good it's possible to change this but I don't know really how but of course you want to complete the quest that's the point of the game but one thing you want to be aware of is not changing too much if you fuck this uh, part up let's say you call this fuck or whatever uh, then it's gonna be uh, uh, screwed up your game will open up but as soon as you start the character list it's gonna stop the game will simply stop responding and for that sake we keep it safe and uh, one thing about the hexa when you save it uh, not always but sometimes it's gonna be a backup it's gonna ask do you want to create a backup uh, which I already have a few of these two these are the core game the basis whatever uh, it's gonna be a backup of how your character was before you did anything with it so if you screw up too much you do something wrong the character uh, won't be uh, can't be used at all you don't how don't know how to fix it you can simply use this backup open it up and resave so when you open up Borderlands it's gonna be changed but just be aware of that it's little fun but it's not gonna be fun in the long run and if you're doing online play there might be some whiners saying that oh my god you're fucking up all the game taking out the fun but feel free to do uh, whatever you want change the level change the proficiency uh, maybe even do small changes that's quite a lot of fun uh, it's not too overpowered but it's a little bonus and thank you for watching and this is Andoser uh, and I hope you will reply to my video thumbs up whatever you feel like and uh, thank you for watching